I guess, Mike, just to, to start with, from your perspective, what, what built that run in the first half? I think it was like 25 points in about eight and a half minutes, and just where did you kind of see it maybe fizzle out? Well, I mean, when you give up 51 points in the Big Ten and a half, it's, you're not going to beat anybody. And, yeah, we played great the second half to get back in it to cut it to three, but we had no – no defensive effort, I thought, the first half. I mean, we just we weren't up to touch. You know, they made some tough threes. And, um, but you can't have two halves like that. you got to have a half like you did the second half, the first half, and then see what happens. So i got to keep working with them and see if I can get them playing two halves. Yeah, Coach, just big picture on the season. Uh, down 20 at home to Nebraska. Two losses to Purdue by 20 plus, um, a number of other double figure losses. Why do you feel the season has kind of gone off the rails to the degree that it has? We're young. We're missing our senior point guard. We're trying to play a freshman at point guard. It's tough. You know, and Gallo struggled tonight at trying to play the point with his six turnovers. It's a lot that comes in play with that. Um, We've played well enough this year in spurts, but not well enough to complete ball games, and that's what makes it frustrating. Mike, what are you seeing out of the uh, in the eyes of the players, their reactions, not only to adversity because they did respond, but before the game, you know, and in, in, in terms of when they're going through adversity. I mean, what what are you seeing out of them? What are you hoping to see? Well, they're down a little bit. I mean, you you expect to be down, and the only way you come out of a rut, uh, come out of a situation that we're in, you got to work your way through it. And, you know, the, nobody's going to feel sorry for Indiana basketball. They're not. And, you know, my locker room is down. And as a coach, I got to I gotta keep pumping them up and, and see if I can get them to overcome being down and get us back into winning ways. You mentioned them being down. Is it something you sense now from – Outside of games, like during practice, are you having to try to lift them up or get no, leaders to I kind mean, of? Practice has been pretty good, but again, when you get smacked in the face like we did the first half, you're not going to beat anyone. I mean, we we didn't compete, and I thought the second half we competed, you know, and cut it to three, and and then we stopped competing. You know, we missed free throws. We didn't shoot the three ball. We were four for twenty one from. Three-point line, we missed 10 free throws. I mean, you cut the lead to three in a close game. Those are plays you got you, you to gotta complete. And I thought we didn't, and they did, doing that 14-0 run that they made. Mike, you guys have lost three straight here at home in conference. I know you said that you've been playing in spurts and that you need to defend home court, but what's not clicking when you guys are playing here at home? As of well, late? I mean, again, we're not putting full games together, and that, that's what's frustrating. I mean, you – you have to win at home in the Big Ten. I've said that when I first walked through this door. It's always been that way. You know, you figure the road out when you get out there, but you can't lose games at home. And now we've lost more games at home this year than we've had in the last two years, and that's kind of frustrating. Mike, your team, uh, you know, even as games have gotten a little lopsided, your team seems to always still fight and, and keep Try, keep pushing and making second half runs in some of these games, but aside from Ohio State, hasn't really been able to sustain it and get it over the line. What's the missing piece to kind of you know sustain those efforts and get over the line? You got to do everything right when you put yourself in that position. Ohio State game, we did everything right coming down the stretch. Yeah, you know, it lets me know that they're still ticking because they didn't quit. You know, they came out the second half and 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 they made a game out of it for, for a while. And when we did cut it to three, I just thought we stopped executing and threw the ball away a few times, took some bad shots. And, and defensively, we didn't get the stops that we got prior to getting the, the lead to three. So it's almost you got to play a perfect game coming down the stretch, especially after being down 20.